Word up. What's up, what's up, good people? <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. We'll just see uh, where this goes. <laughs> As usual. What I have pulled up here. Let's see. We'll see how far I go into uh, some some things here. Right now, with uh, the energy I have within me, like I, I want to, <clears throat> I want to uh, engage with energy maintenance and control. Because there's some places that I'm seeing uh, some of us touch upon. I'm seeing some of us start to grasp. But it's not my place to... <laughs> uh, hmm. What I've always been about is allowing people to uh, learn for themselves and uh, provide stepping stones where and when I can and it's going to be very different depending upon who you're talking to upon uh, who's listening to you <laughs> and uh, some of the things I want to start talking about and engaging with is uh There's a time and place for everything. And whenever it is a uh, quote unquote time, <laughs> but time is what you make of it. Time is a man made concept. Because truly, there is only cycles and patterns and rotations in fluctuations and you got to flip with much of this language you had you have to flip it around and flip it upside down flip it inside out so with time you have to realize that it's all dependent upon, dependent upon how you emit your self your energy your essence your awareness How you emit the level, the engagement upon which you emit your energy and awareness is going to dictate the quote-unquote time you experience. So right now, before I forget, uh, shout out to Zigzag, Mr. Intensity. Check out this guy. He's legit. He's for reals. He's putting out some awesome shit right now. And uh, making some awesome connections. And... Uh, the stuff you put out about the dogs. The dog gods. Let's get serious up in her. Uh, I got you on that. Uh, I got some info for you. It's it's not info. It's it's just it's just a realization. Um, it's info from on high of uh, the purpose of uh, why some things have stuck in our linguistics and language and lore and uh, mythos say like uh, certain sayings or certain uh, hymns or rhymes or songs. Some of us bards live forever. 
So, uh, dog is man's best friend. I'll go into that a little bit in later times. Or maybe I'll do it later on here. We'll see. Also, shout out, I just watched uh, UV. Uh, I just watched your pillow talk. Oh my gosh. That was fun. Uh, you touched upon some really good shit. Um, you keep bringing up the chakras. And I think it may have been one of the very first videos I did. I, I kind of went into a little bit about the chakras. So check that out if you want. But like with most things you will find in this uh, current time that we live in, things aren't always what they appear to be. We have to find out for ourselves through uh, direct experience what is what, where the real really is. And how to feel that. Also, of course, as always, shout out to Zen At Man. Um Yeah, I just I just watched Zen's uh video that that was called A Ayo, Ayo. I'm not for sure if that's still up or not. Uh, probably not, because of, of all the songs that he played. But then, <laughs> but then he pulled a uh, a Mayan Jin, and I don't know if he passed out or, <laughs> or what happened there at the end. But uh, if and I, and I'll I'll hit you up on the correct. Uh, channels and avenues and pathways but uh some of the songs you played there I feel like that's fucking uh very powerful deep shit that I want people to have access to so I would be willing to put that video up because I have it saved so if uh well <laughs> In, in a crop it so that uh the last uh hour <laughs> is isn't isn't there where I don't know what happened but uh just just to where there's uh you talking and then so basically that a o video is uh Zen saying "Fuck you to people and then playing amazing music, so I would be willing to put that up on Vimeo. And then uh, share a link onto your one of your one of Zen's videos, so that people would have access to that. Because that that last uh, song that he played was a guitarist. <clears throat> and that was uh, that was some deep level shit. That was some epic shit. So much so that my body knew <laughs> somehow beforehand that I was going to be listening to this. And so uh, it had to prep before. So I, for whatever reason, kind of just uh, had a, a uh, random bout of needing to nap. So I napped for, and when I say nap, it was kind of like a power nap. I was conscious and, and still aware but also just deeply within like allowing rest deep rest so I had to engage with this uh, for a little while until my body until I woke up my mind was uh, not just my mind my mind was always very acute and aware during the whole process if I if I ever opened my eyes during this uh, uh, power napping. Uh, it was just immediate. Boom. Like, 
awake, aware, ready to go. But I was like, and this is something that uh, Zigzag kind of touched upon in some of his previous videos. Is like, listen to your body. Like, allow it to do its thing. Go with what your body is telling you it needs to do. Instead of like, you know, forcing it. And, oh, I need to be up now and I need to get going. Which I understand that everyone has their own routines and uh, jobs and... and uh, <clears throat> time schedules that they've set up for themselves so we're not always going to be able to allow that time for our bodies to do what they need to do but it's it's of the utmost importance that you listen to your body at all times so when your body is feeling is telling you through feeling that it still needs time to rest. Give it that rest. Even if you're kind of half and half, you're, as in you're like power napping or kind of like daydreaming or whatever you want the terminology there, you can still allow your body to have the rest it needs and still kind of be aware within the mind a little bit. So yeah, this is, this is what, for whatever reason, this is what happened to me. And then my body was like at a level where it was like, okay, let's continue. <laughs> so blam, what, what did I uh, start to listen to was the AO of Zen Atman and some of the music that he played. And immediately I was like, this is why my body, well, this is one of the huge reasons why I needed this rest before I listened to this. So that I was able to kind of empty my cup and really allow this stuff to be absorbed. And not only that, but because I allowed the rest to happen, my body, more energy was spread out and sent to the areas that needed it. So I was able to hear, and, and you'll experience this with uh, music and accessing certain states of consciousness and awareness. You'll find that you're able to hear and pick up on things that you didn't uh, maybe before previously or different certain depths and dimensions of music. So this is what happened for me and I was really able to absorb all of it and uh, it, it, it was some deep shit. Uh, very emotional. But the last one that he that he played there, he said uh, the guitarist was John. And I, I wonder which John this was. I'm not for sure if it was John Frusciantes, but it could ver uh, very well easily have been just because that guy is a legend. Definitely check that guy out. If you don't know who he is. He was the uh, previous guitarist and kind of like secondary vocalist for uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. John Frusciantes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the last name right or not. But that guy uh, plays like a demon and sings like an angel. But either way, like the the guitar, I think he said it was an eight string, maybe ten, that he was playing. And there was so much going on, and he kept reminding us, this is just one person playing, because there's so much going on there. And if you can really 
open up your channels to listen to some like uh some of this deep deep level music then uh that's some deep fucking soul healing soul and, and heartfelt connections that you'll be able to experience for yourself uh not not even with, you you can't experience these experience these things uh with the help of certain chemicals or if you want to call them drugs i don't like that word unless you're using that word for pharmaceuticals and then that word definitely applies what i'm talking about is plant spirit medicines So the only thing I had in me was a tiny bit of alcohol, say one beer, but this was before I had my power nap. So after that, I didn't really, I was just open to the vibrations. So yeah, at, at the end of this, I'll play this here, um, and I'll go ahead and say what it is. It's a, a Russian girl, I think she's like, kind of like, was a Russian uh, pop star, or something like that. And then she started doing uh, these Sanskrit and mantra uh, Indian, as in the Dot, the Dot Indians. Uh... She started doing these songs and uh, her own interpretations uh, of the chants of these mantras. And then she also has like uh, some people uh, playing certain instruments around her. In this specific one, uh, she has uh, one of the most beautiful instruments uh, in this time period right now. Uh, and, you know, I'm also going to start either directing people towards, like, our, our in instruments of old, or I'm just going to start making them myself. And using the material that, you know, needs to be used for the right resonance and frequency. But, uh... One instrument, uh, one guy is playing two. Um, he, this instrument goes by different names. Uh, hang pan or hand pan drum, which is just a uh, super etherical, uh, majestic in instrument. And then another, another dude is playing uh, different types of drums. Another dude is playing an oboe, I believe, or some kind of a clarinet or wind instrument. And then another uh, girl is playing, uh, shit, what is it? Hmm. I don't remember the name of it, like that, that huge fucking, uh, God damn it. <laughs> Basically that huge stringed instrument that's like a fucking oversized guitar. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not this stupid <laughs> normally. <laughs> uh yeah, whatever that whatever that fucking thing is called. But I've been wanting to share this video with you guys for, for, for a while because I'll go ahead and talk about like the experience that I've had with this um, real quick. <clears throat> the first few times, uh, ooh, few, not few times, the first uh, many, many, many times that I listened to this, it would always bring me into tears and Usually, if I'm open enough, it still does. Because of the beauty in this, and, and the ancientness. If you ever get into Sanskrit, and a certain vibration and, and tones, and it doesn't need to be Sanskrit, it can be just any any and every vibrations and, and tonalities. 
Um, I'm very much a uh, I'm pro uh, allowing vibrations to come forth spontaneously through people. I'm not, and this is this isn't like speaking in tongues necessarily. This is accessing deep states of awareness. In uh, deep meditation and contemplation, and uh, an allowance that happens to where it, this flow just kind of takes takes over, not takes over, it just is allowed to come forth, and you experiment and you play with your vocal cords, and the healing effects that this can have, and also. You, you start to tap into original language. Uh, secondary original. Because original language is um, all mental. It's dream language. So. Whenever we started to verbalize. It's kind of. Uh, yeah. This, that's kind of too deep a subject right now to go into. Because really. If you want to get into the true origins, these vibrations that we create, these tones, they were for a different purpose than what we utilize them, what we have been taught to believe, and how we communicate with them. Originally, we used them to create new worlds, to bring the dream into this reality, to bring it forth, which we still do today, and it just depends upon the person, the individual's level of How in tune they are with love in the heart. How much inner work they've done. How much inner standing they've done. How much gnosis they have engaged with. So yeah, the the feeling here in this uh, always brought me into deep, deep emotion and brought me to tears, tears of remembrance and joy and love, a deep inner gnosis. And so these tears are very, very healing. Also, uh, this is a Russian girl, from what I remember. And these, this is an, I think this is an all uh, Indian audience. And as I play this, uh, take note, even right here, take note of the suits and ties and the people that seemingly don't quite fit in. I will go ahead and say that uh, within this video there are several time travelers, several people from uh, different spheres and planes and dimensions. And as I've uh, continued to rewatch this video, you could call it a Mandela like or Mandala, which is very fitting for this. With the yantras and mandalas. The mandala like effect has happened uh, for me in my perception to where certain individuals appeared in this video where they weren't there for me before 
and certain uh, individuals that were there before suddenly you were, were not there. So think of that what you will. Don't take my word for anything like I always say, but also Yeah, I just find it very interesting. This whole thing, this whole video here is very interesting. Well, uh, yeah, this whole thing, this whole thing that we're in right now is very interesting. It's very uh, trippy without even having a trip, I take vacation time out of your mind, back into the mind. This whole time period right now, especially if you have been deeply connecting with uh, the cycles and patterns and the effects of the sun and moon, and you've been paying attention to the locations of these things, I am, I'm hearing more and more from people that aren't necessarily aware or engage with uh, deeper level understandings, but they are even coming to me, which is no coincidence, at, of course, because there's no coincidences here. There's just uh, linking up and as within, so without and clarity and surfing the waves going above and below the waves and realizing where we're at and remembering forgetting and always coming back to the balance of where we all are truth the matter the love the essential essence So yeah, like even these people are starting to uh, become more aware and present this to me like, whoa, man, like why is the moon moving so fast li lately? And, and like, where, why is it like where it's at in the sky lately? And uh, I have to be careful of how much I say and what I say. So I just, I just try to stay <laughs> in a humorous state. And throw things out there for people to uh, fish upon for themselves and potentially reel in uh, some some nice catches for themselves. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything else before I play this? Um, I'm not for sure, but I'll get into that talk right now. Hmm. Like, I also want to make it clear that with, with some of the people that I engage with on YouTube, and not even on YouTube, but just in life, like, uh, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not a know-it-all. I, I mean, of course, we all may uh, have our tendencies where we come off as seemingly like we know it all or like we, uh, you know, are better than other people. But um, uh, I definitely don't feel that way. I definitely don't. Don't. I definitely know I, that I don't know it all. I know enough to know that I want to know more. through engagement and an allowance and a surrendering oh this is the this is the uh, thing about that word surrender because as with uh, these this linguistics and syntax it's a double edged sword with these words we can flip it one way or the other
So uh, surrender, whenever I use that word, I'm talking about allow. Surrender to the moment. Surrender to the essence of the moment of what you are. Don't surrender to an ideology or belief system. Because that's going to limit you and capstone your mind. To where you hit a wall. And that's what these laws are all about. It's creating walls to limit our essence and who we are. <laughs> but that's all crumbling right now, and uh, the powers that be, uh, they are scrambling. They have been for, for many years now, actually. Decades, you could even say. Or maybe just a decade. They have been scrambling to uh, push forward this uh, controlled demolition. So that they can bring forth uh, order, order out of chaos. Which is just a repeated cycle of, you know, what we keep going through so that we don't remember our past. Because then we can't really see where we're going, right? We just have to uh, t take the word of the bullshit indoctrination. Oh, okay, that, that's, how, that's how it is? Okay. Columbus discovered... Oh, okay. Come on. Come in. Come in. Just start to think a little bit for yourselves. And, and, and all these things that we were taught will just, will just fucking crumble in the wake of the presence. In the wake of raw isness. Of true awareness and contemplation, uh, all illusions will, will fade away. Trust this. Trust that you have the ability. Each and every one of us has the ability to dissolve the illusions that we have been indoctrinated into. Yeah, uh, before I went into all that, I kind of wanted to say, uh, with, with UV, um, you're touching upon some really, uh, <laughs> some good shit, and, and I like where we're going, like, where we, like, where all of us are going with this, because we're all kind of heading toward the same direction here, if you haven't noticed. So it's a beautiful thing to witness and to engage in. And one of the things he mentioned was that, you know, uh, with this engagement with certain individuals, say, through YouTube or just even individuals in life that we m potentially can meet where uh, we will kind of speak each other's minds. And that's a very beautiful thing, an encouraging thing to witness, to engage with, and to uh, uh, realize for ourselves as within, so without. That's what it's all about, baby. So yeah, I'll go ahead and play this. Uh, I, w I won't do some tones right now, because originally with this, I kind of wanted to do some tones uh, and some chance, just so you guys know uh, and can feel uh, the resonance, even more so. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, the feeling, and I'm just gonna allow this to, to go ahead and play. So, yeah, let me see. Well, actually, first, before I do that, uh, because I, I like to play these things at the end of my videos that way, 
uh, if people are like, oh, okay, you're done talking, okay, I'm tuning out, that they can do that at the end instead of like me playing this and then continuing talking, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'll go ahead and say, I, well, well, first of all, I'll say that I am looking to engage with uh, doing some tarot in the future. <laughs> I know I keep, I know I keep saying this, but this time it's like, uh, yeah, like it's it's gonna happen. I feel it. <clears throat> so uh, I went ahead and pulled the card. So we'll see what we have here. I haven't looked at it yet. Let me get my lights on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hmm, that's interesting. Salmon. <clears throat> I don't know if you if you all have ever had salmon, but uh, if you've ever been a bear, salmon are, are where it's at, man. I'm telling you. Salmon is fucking delicious. I'm not a meat eater, but, uh, luckily, and this is a talk that I'm going to go into because we're getting at the point where, uh, I just need to play this stuff here for you guys and not keep rambling, bambling, bambling on. But if you can get pure salmon, like fresh, uh, salmon that, that, ha that, that live in water that, it's a little bit more pure because uh, you're not going to find pure water nowadays. And if you do, you're going to have to travel for it and find locations where man hasn't corrupted the environment yet. So if you can do that and find that salmon, and if you're into eating meats, then, uh, yeah, that, that's fucking oof. Salmon is some um, awesome uh, energy and essences to engage with. I'm not, I'm not promoting <laughs> eating meat. But I'm also not saying don't eat meat. I'm saying do all things but in the correct proportions. Doing it with an awareness of why you're doing it. We can utilize meat for when it's truly needed, but if we constantly maintain our awareness and focus and energy management, then then we, we don't we don't really need that energy of meat. And in the act of eating meat. You run the high risk of addiction. And through that addiction, you will, uh, well, we are what we eat, right? And not even eat, you have to realize what that word is. It's absorption. We are what we absorb. So if we are in a toxic environment and we are absorbing toxicity through the air and the water and the food but also through the people that we surround ourselves with then we become that the salmon so let me uh let me look up what this has to say here in this little booklet about the salmon i'm interested in what this has to say Oh wow, there's no fucking way I'm going to be able to read this. Ah! It's too dark. It's too dark. Oh 
Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna have to set you guys down for a minute. So I have two hands here. So, uh. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, of course, let's make it difficult. Okay, okay, I'm back. So let's see what we can read. Okay, here we go. Salmon. Keywords: magic, intuition, wisdom. Perfect. Fucking perfect. Oh, also, I'm uh, still remembering. I'm going to go into a little bit. And, and this is also kind of inspired by uh, Mr. Zigzag. And uh, I'm not for sure who, who he was talking about with the, with the uh, waking up. Uh, and, and still being like a lack of energy or droggy or uh, uh, the idea that uh, certain spirits or energies are drawing uh, from you. But also, and this is, ooh, uh, 4212, I'm giving a shout out to uh, the woke ones. We're going to engage a lot more just because... Uh, I'm starting to experience a little bit of the things that you have been experiencing and and once again I don't want to come off as I, I know it all or whatever or that I've been around the block even though I've uh, been here forever and I've been dead forever I've been alive forever as all of you have. It's just. Do you realize it or not? Do you, Are you aware of what you really are or not? <sighs> there are so many energies at play here. And when, our, when, when we allow ourselves to be caught up in this electromagnetic uh, pollution. Uh, our our minds will start to go crazy. You'll realize this more and more whenever you get out of the electromagnetic sphere and go into the nature where there's less uh, pollution in, in, in the frequencies, in the vibrations. So we will engage more with uh, these certain energies and uh, certain parasites. And I'm not just talking about parasites of just the physical nature and the body nature. I'm, I'm talking about also parasites of the metaphysical and energetical nature. I don't think you're fucking crazy. Like, I, I don't think uh, anyone's crazy, but... Uh, then again, uh, we're all crazy because uh, we're here. <laughs> but with everything, there is a specific reason and knowingness and causality. But we have kind of been brought up into uh, the system where we, we've been flooded with so many potentialities and possibilities that it, it's difficult for people to realize uh, where the truth is. And that's why you have to go into the feeling and you have to do the inner work. And I'm not saying that you, whoever, ha hasn't done the inner work. 
But what I am saying is there's levels to this shit. There's depths and dimensions to this shit. Not that you don't know this. But oftentimes it's hard to encourage engagement with this. Continuous engagement. This system is set up so that we are easily distracted and hoodwinked and led during into certain pathways to where we forget where the true isness, where the true essential essence is. Where life really is at. So, uh, if you haven't already felt woke ones, if you haven't already felt it, because I have engaged with you quite a bit, actually, on the, uh, subtler planes. And in doing this, I have adopted some of the things that you have, uh, going on with you. And as of recently, that has been really, <laughs> really fucking weird for me. To experience. Uh, just weird as in. Yeah. We'll get in this, into this. Uh, a little bit deeper. In later videos. And where it all comes down to. Because you have to realize the root. The root. The root. The root causalities. This is where the illusion comes into play and in, in masking where the true roots and isness, the essence of it, so that it, it, we're just left with our minds playing tricks on ourselves. So I will go ahead and say that, yes. Just as much as what you are experiencing is valid, what you are allowing your mind and the influences onto your mind, that is dictating your reality just as much, if not more so, because our mind is our minds are that powerful. We create our own reality. But but most of us do that do so subconsciously not realizing that we're doing it so uh i'm all about empowerment so this is this is a huge thing like empowering yourself so that uh any outside influences don't have any effect on you and uh this is this is also something that has levels to it and depths and dimensions and it's not easy none of this shit is easy because of where we're at right now. How degraded all of us are. Because. It's, it's very. Uh, Multi-layered. It begins with conception. It begins with intense. But I will say. I will go ahead and say real quick. Here before I read this <laughs> this salmon card, I will go ahead and say that uh, if you if you intake within certain chemicals, certain uh, hmm, not even chemicals, experiences, certain degradations of reality of life, if you allow certain traumas, if you engage with certain things like. Um, poisons that are man-made. Then you have blasted open yourself to be fucked with. And e even if you start to engage with healing. And deep level healing. Deep level shamanics. Deep level uh, hypnagogic uh, subconscious journeying and traveling and healing 
it's going to take a lot of fucking time and effort to undo what you have done willy-nilly because you wanted to get high. But you wanted to get high off of a corruption, a deep fucking corruption. But what you don't understand is this corruption sits inside your bodies and festers. This is why you keep experiencing these things. You have not rid yourself of the festering inside yourself. If you don't understand what I mean by that, get at me. And I will go a little bit deeper into what I mean with that. Because this is what it is. Anything that you think is outside of you that is fucking with you. No, 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 no. It's inside of you and it's something that you accepted and you put in there. You did it. So this is also something that uh, is part of waking up. Is uh, becoming aware and accepting the reality of why we are where we are, becoming responsible for what we've done to ourselves. It's, this, is, this is not fucking easy. This isn't easy shit. We have to dissolve and dissolve and go in and realize. Dive deep inside. Realize the lies that we have adopted and perpetuated. In no way am I saying that because someone may be suffering from things that they think are outside of them, that they are lesser than or weak. No. We are all weak here. We are all in engagement and strengthening and empowering ourselves. That's, that's the only thing I want to encourage within people, within myself, but as within, so without. Because I engage this within myself, I want to encourage this potentially within the quote-unquote outside. I want to I wanna share little by little, uh, sometimes in bursts. What I've experienced so that hopefully people can be reminded of who and what they truly are, how much power they really have. <sighs> okay, let's see here. I'll show you here the appearance of the salmon card invites you to develop your innate magic and wisdom. Salmon are considered magical creatures because they can swim in both salt and fresh water. Celtic mythology especially valued these fish as the giver of wisdom. One popular tale recounts how the salmon gained wisdom after eating several hazelnuts which had fallen into a stream. Since hazel branches are considered especially magical, their branches were revered for wizards. Wizards wands Tradition claimed that whoever eats the salmon ten, turn the page, wash your hands. Whoever eat oh the pages are sticking. Just one just one moment, please. There we go. Whoever eats the salmon's wisdom 
would gain these powers for themselves. In the Pacific Northwest, the salmon is especially valued as a major source of food. The Haida people tell of a boy who transformed into a salmon after he wasn't sufficiently, sufficiently respectful of the fish. In time, his sojourn with the salmon, with the salmon people, granted him the ability to heal others. So yeah, no coincidence there. Beauty, beautiful stuff, beautiful words, beautiful wisdom. Uh, as with uh, any marine life, uh, you have the fishy essence, which, you know, uh, is a uh, life essence. So yeah, good shit there. We're going to go ahead and listen to this here. 56.33 in. Lasted a little bit longer than I thought, but I'm glad that I was all, I was, uh, I, that I allowed flow to happen. So here, pay close attention here to these sounds and vibrations. The first, the first mantra here is called Ganesha Mantra. Om, Gam, Ganapati Namaha. Oh, 
Fuck.